And as they gear up for this challenge on the road, a look at the Cavaliers. These guys mean business. Hello and thanks for joining us folks for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. And tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brett Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. And a great time to check out the power rankings. See how the teams are stacking up across the league. Take a look at the 76ers. They're still dominant, sitting at number one once again. And now for the Cavs. Give them credit. They've stuck to their plan here early on, playing their brand of basketball. They're showing everyone they have the potential to be even better. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. Greg, we're still involved in the conference system. Does it hold relevance as we're looking here at the standings midseason? You know, for travel distance, yes. And, and there's also some tradition at stake. I, I mean, look, the... That said, in a perfect world, you'd like to see the best 16 teams make the playoffs each year. But we've had, you know, imbalance in conferences forever. So that's not going go. to change. Uh, but sometimes change is just necessary. How about quickly for the playoffs? Would you like to reseed and take the top 16s, 1 through 16? I would. I think that'd be a great idea. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Drummond is the center with Love playing post as well. The guard pair. It's Garland and Sexton. And it's a Coro in at the three. A small four for the 76ers. Harrison and Dean hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the small forward position. Drummond. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And at last season's trade deadline, Andre Drummond traded away basically for a second round pick. A shockingly low return for a guy who was once considered a franchise player. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. He throw good Drummond. And great, why is it that the Pistons got so little in exchange for Drummond? Well, I think he was an impending free agent. I think Detroit looking to rebuild. Also, it says something about the center position in today's game. And both free throws, good for Drummond. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft, Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. Now here's Simmons. Nine points last game. Harris passes to Embiid. Here's the screen. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. This speaks to how confident Tobias Harris is in his offensive game. Ready to shoot as soon as that ball reaches him. Garland the pass to Love. To the right side. Love with the screen on Simmons. Here's Garland. Here's Love. Pocket four. Simmons pulls it in. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Embiid against Drummond. Embiid, no good. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Garland, the pass to Love. 
Cleveland with it. And last time, 14 points for him. Embiid with the steal. And stolen by Love. Over Green. And it's Love missing. Here's Simmons. Hands to Harris. Embiid inside. Working on Drummond. 76ers moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Simmons finds Harris. The 76ers with another miss. And stolen by Simmons. Chalk up two there. And loves to operate around the rim. Simmons' tall frame helps him to beat defenders. Outside, Sexton. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Into the wing on the left. It's Garland and Embiid with the block. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored on. Cavaliers trailing. And here is Garland. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Now here's Simmons. Now Feibel over Sexton. Feibel can't get it to go. Outside, Sexton. Love outside. Back to Sexton. And the pass to Drummond. Over Harris. With the fadeaway. It's hauled in by Harris. The 76ers have gone 2 of 6 from the field. Simmons passes to Green. To the left side wing. And it's set back by Drummond. Not letting that one fly. Drummond using his height and wingspan to deny the shooter. Okoro kicks the long. Pass to Drummond. Sexton for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, Sexton's confidence growing now. Knocking it down from the three-point line. That's big. And it's Simmons penetrating. Lays it up off the glass. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just like the candy bar. Garland, the pass to Drummond. Left side, low. Off target from outside. And so Simmons will bring it up to Philadelphia. Pass to Harris. And Bede with a screen on left. And that one is good. Harris has got his second basket of the night. Tobias there taking the contact. Still leaning with it. Scores it. Allen with it. Nothing out on the scoreboard for him. To the left wing. Here's Love. It's hauled in by Harris. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Hope loose. Here's Garland. This is to Love. From past the arc, buries it from three point range. And those are the kind of signs where Garland is improving his overall awareness to find teammates. And here is Simmons. One of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Embiid dishes to Simmons. Five on the clock. They grab their own miss. Embiid kicks to Thibault. Pass to Simmons. Now Embiid over Drummond and misses it off the right side of the rim. A wide open look here for Garland. And trying for the go ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Now here's Thibault. No points. 
points in the game yet for him. The pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Simmons trying to get open. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. Well, what sets him beat apart is he does it with such ease. Now here's Drummond in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. Rejected by Hicks. Now Simmons. Outside, Green lets it go from deep. No good on the shot. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, and that one, their rebounding was the difference. Big disparity between the two teams. Yeah, I'm not sure if their last game was a basketball game or a wrestling match, the way they went about it. Just so physical and dominated it. Now here's Simmons. Harris outside. Simmons can't get it to go. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players reacting. Oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Here's Drummond. Sexton finds love. Rebound by the 76ers. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Pass to Embiid. He dishes it to Green. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Embiid, the pass to Harris. Another miss by Philadelphia. Cleveland's gotten just 2 of 6 to fall from 3-point range so far in the first. Bob outside. And that one hits back on He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Now, here's Garland. After Ben Simmons' miss, passes to Sexton. Garland with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The game now all tough. And you don't mind those shots from Garland if they're in rhythm and with tempo. Well, Garland, the fifth overall pick back in 2019, had a slow start to his career. But around the midway point, he, he really started to take off. You wonder, Greg, in that rookie campaign, if that's a bit of somebody realizing the length of an NBA season. And maybe he made a bit of an adjustment in his body. Now in his second year, we can see some of the fruits of his labor in the offseason and him developing. checked in for Harris. Shake Milton comes in for Green. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxie's subbed in for Ben Simmons. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. JaVale McGee's checked in for Andre Drummond. Jared Allen comes in for Kevin Love. Nancy's checked in for Okoro. And it's Jenny Osman in for Colin Sexton. Now here's Nance. Nine points, last game out. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. And the Cavaliers lead by two. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Cleveland? And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. 
They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. Here's Osman, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. And slam dunk by Allen. Flushed by Allen there. What I love about him, he's a center and he's not trying to be a guard. He knows who he is. Now, here's Maxi. Howard, the pass to Kirby. And a miss there on the triple. Cleveland leading by four. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. And McGee gets to Allen. Hands in the post, defended by Milton. Here's Garland, drills the three-pointer. Garland's got five points so far. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. Three left in the first quarter. High post, MB. He's against Allen. Pass to Maxi. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by McGee. Cleveland's gone three of seven from three point range in the first quarter. The pass to Allen. Pass to Osman. Uncovered. That shot missing. And it's Philadelphia the other way. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish when you come in. And talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look, and see if they can keep that up. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the tear drop. Here's Garland. Look at, look at the big fella working on that position. He knows how to thin guys off and get those rebounds. And so the first quarter is in the books. The offense still waking up here a little bit. Cavaliers lead by five. And we'll be back with you right after this. You come here, you want to make an impact and, you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so you kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well said. Certainly, Greg Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the floor. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger-than-life quality that really just captivates people. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from the Cavaliers, what do you guys see? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Larry Nance up there with Jared Allen. Then there's Garland. And there's JaVale McGee. And it's Osman in at the two guard. Now, here's Curry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring in from him. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that guy. Here's Osman. And we're about a minute into the second quarter play. Passes it to McGee. Kicks it to Garland. Teardrop shot. And it's sent back by Howard. That reach of Dwight Howard is so impressive. A dominant shot blocker and a tremendous athlete. Out to Harris. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Here's Garland picks one up. 
You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Shoot well, two. I mean, they're still, power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, uh, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. Simmons checked in for Maxi. A switch here also for Cleveland. Colin Sexton, he's checked in for Garland. And Harris drops them both. Drafted 19th back in 2011 out of Tennessee. Tobias Harris came into the league very, very young. So his experience belying his age and the improvement has been shown over the past couple years. Now here's Allen. He had 10 points in the win against Orlando. He also had two blocks that really impacted that game, guys. He really made his presence known. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with a sledgehammer. Yeah, well, have you settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Here's Curry following the score by Cleveland. Does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. Here's Osman. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. In the corner, Nance with it. Takes the three. And another three for Cleveland. Comfortable shooting off the pass that time. Larry Nance Jr. in a catch-and-shoot opportunity. Pass to Harris. Howard set the pick for Harris. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Harris has got four points this quarter. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full. Allen passes to Austin. Outside, Sexton. Allen surveying the D. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Harris. And Jared Allen, the big man out of Texas. A big part of his impact is how well he moves as a center. Very long and covers a ton of ground on both ends. The Cavaliers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And collectively, they're only about 73% as a unit right now. Free throw, no good. And with Allen, the amount of four he can cover with a few steps is staggering. And Kevin, it lets him take away chances and opportunities on D. Uh, on the other end, one step to the hoop, and he's completely relocated as a target. One of the best moving bigs in our league. Andre Drummond's checked in for Cleveland. Okoro comes in for Jetty Austin. He hits the second from the line. The 76ers trail by five. The pass to Curry. Down low. Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. No answer for Dwight Howard. That deep inside paint always looking to throw it down. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Simmons against Sexton. Count that bucket. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. And Simmons really using his insane athleticism on that drive. A remarkable penetrator who really carves up the defense. Now, here's Okoro. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Cleveland shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And 
he knocks down the first one. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning the championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. And Simmons gets to green. Let's the three fly. Cats in the tray. Green's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Well, that is what he does, just deadly beyond the arc. Green is one of those guys you cannot afford to leave for a second. Here's a Kuro. Green with the block. On the way, Harris. Back to Simmons. Pass to Green. Passes it to Simmons. Shot clock at six. Bobbed up there for Howard. Hammers the alley oop through. I think that's Dwight Howard's favorite play. He loves going up for the oop. Outstanding chemistry between him and his teammate there. Sexton, the pass to Drummond. Out left of the wing. And here is a call roll. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. For Philadelphia, they've gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Simmons passes to Howard. And a wide open shot from Green. Off the mark there with a the three point shot. Cleveland's gone four of eight tonight from three point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. In the quarter, Drummond with it. Not to dance. Pass to Sexton. Got a piece of it. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Man, he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Shot clock at three. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. A Kuro shot is off. The 76ers lead. On the way, Harris. Back to Simmons. Philadelphia moving the ball. And there's the pass to Harris. Howard trying to free himself. Harris, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very good at making the weak coverage play. Sexton, the pass to Harris. To end the cold streak. Drummond trying to get himself free. The layup missed. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Green, no luck. Cavaliers have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. That's three of nine. Let's it go. Here's Drummond. Rejected by Hicks. Every so often, Tobias Harris showing you something defensively and great timing to throw that one away. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the 76ers. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. The coaches always One talk shot. to defenders about good active hands. They've had that as well. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Joel Embiid comes in for Dwight Howard. And it's Jake Milton in for Korkmaz. That's good from Simmons. The 2018 Rookie of the Year. Simmons' NBA career got off to a great start, and he's only continued to improve. Now, here's Sexton. 23 points for him in the last game against Orlando. Love kicks to Sexton. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Philadelphia leading by four. Pass to Green. Embiid against Drummond. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now.
to see the story for Andre Drummond. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. Now, here's Sexton. Seven points in the game. Nance outside. Passes it to Love. They need this. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. On the wing, Green. Pass to Embiid. Over Love. Embiid, no good. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And who draws more fouls than Embiid? Very few players, if any. Too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit and, and I tell you what boy it, it can really transform a franchise's future now here's Nance he has five Drummond passes to Love trying to end the drought and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here and for years now GA Kevin Love one of the better outside shooting big men of the game he can really light it up I tell you Love gets it going he is hard to slow down great on the catch and shoot Hard to believe it wasn't a large part of his game until he was established in the NBA. And the first one goes. And his whole career, Kevin Love, a fantastic passer at that position. Great vision for a big man. You think about it, Greg, he's one of those players who you're kind of watching throughout the course of any game and you're hoping for that kind of highlight. I mean, that's rarefied air. If it's not a dunk or we're waiting for a Kevin Love outlet pass, it tells you it's special. Second free throw, no good. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. The pass to Embiid. And it's sent back by Drummond. And he gets it back. And he's able to get it back. Yeah! Milton's shot is good. He's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76 And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus team rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Garland, the pass to love. Here's Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Akola pushes to Love. Fires for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's Philadelphia the other way. They went to Cleveland for their last meeting with the Cavaliers, and they came out with a win. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off and had a clear advantage on the backboard. Uh, we'll see if the other team will address that problem in this game because last game, man, they just got smoked on the boards. Now, here's Maxi following the miss shot by Tobias Harris. Embiid against Drummond. Harris outside. Here's Fable. All good from outside. The Cavaliers trail by 10. On the wing, Nance. Pass to Love. A three ball. It's hauled in by the 76ers. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Trying to get some easy. Well, early in the 
his career, defenses challenged Tobias Harris to take this shot. How they don't want him to, for good reason. And here is Garland. After Tobias Harris getting his shot to go from deep. Now, here's Garland. Five points in the game. Now, Thibault. 121 left to play in the first half. Harris looking it over. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like. On Friday, they're off to Boston to take on the Celtics. Then on Sunday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Houston Rockets. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing. But it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Drummond. And it's Jetty Osman in for a core roll. And Coach can't be happy and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring and if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor and that's the paint, you just keep going. Love draws the double. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. And now it's time to look at our rookie leaderboard and see which of the first-year players are tops in assists during the last month. Well, you look at Maxi, currently fifth in the league in assists. Such court vision. And he's been setting the table beautifully. I mean, that'll keep his veteran teammates really happy. Now here is Harris. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. That's good. Cool. Harris has got 13. He has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Passes it to Garland. To stop the run. Got a hand on it. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Curry's shot is good. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. And McGee kicks to Garland. And he drives in. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. There's 14 seconds left in the first half. Here's Max. Curry a screen on Nance. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over McGee. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Tobias Harris, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Philadelphia. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I had someone behind me. If I made a mistake that was going to protect the win, I thought we did great. We know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. 
All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting there's in. There's only three of us. Went and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. What a game it's been for Tobias Harris. He had 13 points, two block shots, and four rebounds. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? I'm watching Tobias Harris and the impact he's had thus far. Now think about this. His aggressiveness on the offensive end, that's impressive. But he knows his strengths on that end of the floor and that's a nice job that he's playing to me. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, there's no two ways around it. They got trounced on the glass and on the scoreboard. They gotta show a little more. Looks like they're not competing, and uh, it's showing on the boards most of all. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. this team becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Tobias Harris, he has really been playing well. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Harris and Embiid hold down the post for him. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibault, and it's Green in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Now, here's Garland. He has five. Okoro with it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. the second so he makes them both here's Simmons three points in the game so far there's the pass to Embiid outside Green and Simmons kicks to Green the basket good off the assist from Simmons Green's got six points Boy, if you're going to just hand him this shot, you might as well put a bow on it. Green loves the catch and shoot. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Now, here's Sexton. He has seven. He's cautious around Sexton. He's very good at seeking out contact and did it there. For Cleveland, they have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And Sexton understands what's at stake for him, so the passion that he brings to the court on a nightly basis has to be there. So he comes up empty, missing both. The 
76ers leading by 19. Shakes them. And Bailey trying to break loose. And Simmons with the lay in. 11 points in the game. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. And stolen by Sexton. Here's a Coro, and a Coro throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Now, here's Kleiber. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And B, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Here's a quote. He's got five. Pass to Love. Let's it go from 11. Almost, but it rolls out. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Outside, Green. Out to the wing. Embiid, the pass to Green. Just five on the clock. Top of the key. The 76ers again can't hit it. And so Sexton will bring it up for Cleveland. Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Truman. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Aggressive defense. The battle with Drummond inside is a collision waiting to happen. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. It's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive here. Kawhi Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. DA, thank you. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And he makes the first. An underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer, so you just can't hack away at it. Howard's checked in for the 76ers. Korkmaz comes in for Matisse Thibel. A switch here also for Cleveland. Allen's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by to the wing right side some nice passing by Cleveland here outside Sexton and he's been a force on the glass all game long yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight he's in the right spot all the time now here's MB he's got eight back to Simmons Crosses over, inside. Embiid, no good. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for them. And here is Simmons. He's got 11. Embiid finds out. Drummond working against Embiid. The 76ers with another miss. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Now, here's Garland. Five points in the game. Passes to Allen. And Sexton has it in the corner. He can't hit that time. Excellent D from Howard. The 76ers leading by 19 points. Kortmaz kicks to Simmons. Pass to Howard. 
That's Court Mons. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. A deep three for three. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under him. The Cavaliers trail by 19. Sexton the pass to Okoro. Allen with the screen for Okoro. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Let's look at the energy steps, how the hustle game has been going for Philadelphia. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've break. had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. That free throw missing. on the second free throw. We know the NBA is looking to get rid of the one-and-done rule pretty soon. Adam Silver, Greg, saying he thinks the league can create a better system. Do you think so? I think he can, they can create a better system for some. Um, I think the work of the G League, no doubt, it is instrumental in that new system. Uh, now these young rookies can get the playing time in more tier four games as they continue to develop. But I think still the collegiate game plays a significant role. The experience of going to college, even for a year, uh, can be invaluable. There are, there are pros both ways, college or the G League. Agree? I, I do. I'm just glad it's not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Now you have the option. Not every kid wants to go to college and have that experience. First one falls for The 76ers making the switch here. Curry's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for a Coro. Drops them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. To the middle. Here's Allen. And it's Allen slamming it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Now here's MB. He's got 10. Curry on the wing. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Is on Colin Sexton. This is his first free throw of the game. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75%. First one falls. JaVale McGee's check in for Drummond. And both free throws good for Curry. The Cavaliers trail by 20. It's Allen on the win. Back to Sexton. And there's the pass to Garland. 
Ball's not loose. And stolen by Simmons. Popped up there for Howard. An emphatic LU jam. And that's what Simmons does. His vision and accuracy make him a premier presence on the floor. Right side, Sexton. Pass to Osman. So nice passing by Cleveland here. And the three off target. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. That's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. There's Cork Mons. Now here's MB. He's got 10. Rocket 6. Shoots over McGee. They get it back. Howard kicks to Cork Mons. Outside, Simmons. Embiid dishes to Simmons. Highest to the hoop. And Simmons slams it in. You guys, you really can't say enough about Simmons. Bouncing off defenders like it's nothing on his way to the bat. For Furkan, Korkmaz. And Maxi's subbed in for Simmons. Nancy's checked in for Cleaver. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Now here is McGee. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Sexton the pass to Austin. Climbing to the basket. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Osman kicks to Nance. Here's Sexton. And the shooting percentage, it's taken a dip in the second half. And another miss by Cleveland. Now Curry. He's got seven. The shot's good. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now, here's Sexton. The dish to Nance. Pass to Allen. Here's Osman. They need this one. He takes it up and lays it in. Osman's got his first two points. Well, Nance is just such a cerebral player out there. Does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Embiid, the pass to Howard. Back to Embiid. And stolen by Sexton. Here's Osman, guarded by Kerr. And it's Osman missing. Philadelphia has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Pass to Milton. There's the triple. Tipped away. Cleveland's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Allen outside. Osman the pass to Sexton. Down 
to five on the shot clock. And no good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. You know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him. But he has not been passive for his team. Powers can hit. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. You just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. One fifty-seven left to play here in the third. Milton with it. On the pass to Embiid. And he comes up with the deuce. And Bede's got six here in this quarter. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Here's McGee. Good D by Embiid. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And that one's good, Maxi. Oh, such a field shot there. The floater. Allen outside. And McGee kicks to Sexton. Allen outside. McGee up top. Started by Howard. McGee, the pass to Osman. McGee inside. Working on Howard. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Osman, the pass to McGee. And it's sent back by Howard. Pass to Maxi. Going inside. Cavaliers with the rebound. Nance has got four rebounds in this game. He kicks to Sexton. Back to Nance. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The defender is trying to get aggressive because when Larry Nance Jr. gets into that area, he becomes problematic. First trip to the line for him here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Well, Larry Nance Jr. came into the league and a lot of talk about his dunking prowess. But really, Larry Nance Jr. knows how to play the game and is building on that potential. And the second free throw, good. Just four seconds left in the third quarter of the game. No good, shot missing. And so it's Philadelphia holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been active and effective. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scorers now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammates. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. 
And so in the game for the Cavaliers, they've got Matthew Delavid open. And it's weighed in at the four spot. And uh, the 76 are shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Maxi passes to Thibel. Well, in the dunk contest, we saw Michael Jordan take on Dominic Wilkins. These days, not as many star players are participating in these skills competitions. Like Paul Drake, the slam dunk. I think it's a great point you raise, Kevin. And I think in part because back in that era, you know, the reality is guys didn't make the kind of dollars they make today. Uh, and there was more risk, I guess, in the mindset of guys today. And they did, didn't want to take that challenge on. So I, I, I wish we would see more of our stars in the slam dunk contest. But yes, I yes. don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately, as, as much as we all like to see it. Delavidova, the pass to Love. Back to Delavidova. There's the drive. Got a piece of it. And they'll keep possession. And turnovers have been the issue for them. You can see the coaches have gotten into them a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Over to the left wing. Here's Korkmaz with his first shot attempt. I'm shot is good that time. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. To the inside, Dotson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Dotson's got his first basket of the night. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. Now, here's Maxi. Sinks the triple. And here is Delavidova. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Love inside. Passes it to Dotson. Pocket six. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That is his first call of the game. Well, you hear about the extinction of great NBA big men. Do you see it that way? And if so, Greg, is the game that has changed or perhaps a dip in the talent at that position that has changed? You know, you think back to the likes of Russell, Wilt, Kareem, and Hakeem, and Robinson, and Shaq. You know, some would say, well, we just got lucky. But in a lot of ways, we still have the dominance of the big man. They just play more outside of the paint, right? You know, Giannis. Yep. You look at what he can do. Anthony Davis and the way he plays the game. I mean, LeBron, in essence, is a big man. I mean, you, you still can dominate the game as a big. It's just that you now can actually, in some respects, have more impact because you are involved in more facets of the game. Now, here is Della Vadova. That three off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Maxi passes to Poirier. Now, here's Thibel. They set the screen. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Top, Delavidova, guarded by Bradley. Delavidova, the pass to Drummond. Here's Windler. <laughs> Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or, or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die Take from a, a life standpoint. A and Two we shots. don't want to have things escalate. There's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. First free throw is good. And Simmons, he's checked in for Maxie.
and so he makes both from the line. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Poirier. Cavaliers with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. Hell of it over. The pass to Drummond. Elvidova scanning the floor. The pass to Winlow. Shot clock at six. Pass to Dawson. Let's it go with a three. The Cavaliers again can hit. Now, Feibel. Greg, you know, we're seeing players take control of their free agent destiny. Do players get a bad rap for that in switching teams? Listen, I think, I don't know if you get a bad rap, but you're going to catch the rap of the fan base. Do you think of Paul George uh, and Andy or Katie and OKC and fans, they, they're going to feel guilty. There's no doubt about it. They're going to feel scorned. Uh, yeah. For Cleveland, they've gone 2 of 7 from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. And stolen by Simmons. Trying to get something. Oh! Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he sees it. Delivered over with the ball. Here's Windler. Plays it up and banks it in. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. And here now is Thibel. Here's Simmons. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. Uh, eight for 11 shooting so far. And at 6-10, a player like Simmons to handle the ball the way he does. That's just unfair. Drummond finds Delavidova. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Rebound by the 76ers. And that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He goes, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Poirier, no good. Cavaliers have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Elvin over the pass to Windler. And last season we saw the NBA All-Star Game introduce the Elam ending, a target score, Greg, to end the game and instead of running out the clock. Did you like that and would you widen its use? No question it's being looked at it maybe for overtimes or, or tournament games. You know, Adam not shy about exploring new ideas. And I got to be honest, going into the All-Star game, I wasn't a fan of the proposed changes. Me too. But once you saw it all play out, I have to say I was entertained. And, and I applaud the commissioner and the players in the league for buying in. And I think the fan experience was made all the more better. Good point. That free throw, no good. Shake Milton, he's checked in for the 76ers. I'll switch here also for Cleveland. McGee's checked in. He's off on the second. Cleveland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Elvin over the pass to McGee. Here's Dotson. And he uses the glass on the layup. Dotson's got four points in the quarter. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that ring. 
passes to Simmons. Bradley sends the pick for Simmons. Field goal number nine. He's nine of 12 at that best. Crafty and smooth. Simmons tearing up the nets. He is definitely a rising star. Pass to Dotson. To the left side wing. Here's Windler. Here he goes. And it's blocked by Simmons. How about the balance and body control? Simmons able to send that one. Packy. Greg, you played against uh, some terrific players, including the, the late, great Kobe Bryant. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on playing against Kobe. I mean, his passing is, is still tough, I'm sure, for many to deal with because he was just taken from us at such a young age. Uh, but this guy was a ferocious competitor and someone who showed us in life and in tragedy that you need to make the most of every moment that we have here. You know, I just appreciate it to really the fans getting to know Kobe once his career was over because I think he was able to let his guard down a little bit and show us a lighter side, a more compassionate side. That is an excellent point. Now here's Simmons. The pass to Poirier. Bradley kicks to Milton, six to shoot. Joe, Bradley trying to break free. The three-pointer, no good. Cavaliers shooting about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. Elvidova from outside. The shot, no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Simmons looking it over. Pass to Milton. Good. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Windler's shot is off. Philadelphia has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Here's Poirier. Outside, Simmons. Six on the shot clock. From beyond the arc, Cavaliers with the rebound. 1.32 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Dotson the pass to Windler. And it's been said that history is written by the victor certainly holds true in sports, don't you think, Greg? And with that in mind, do you think titles are overvalued when evaluating the great players, individual players in history? You know, Kevin, I, I think so. Uh, having said that, I think championships do matter, obviously, in, in the NBA, in basketball in general. One guy can have more impact, right? Because you only play five and you play both ways. So uh, it, it does have something to say but I don't think that completes the narrative you know there's some tremendously talented guys Carl Malone, Elgin Baylor, Patrick Ewing, Allen Iverson a lot of greats who never won it uh, it's easy to count those rings the measuring greatness has to take in the whole picture all the famers all of them here's Della Vidova after Ben Simmons bucket here's Dotson kicks to Wade Here's McGee looking to end the run. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Yes, 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Good center. Now here's Simmons. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. They poured it out and like Dominic showing in front of the crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win, a quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Ulrich. This is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.